All right, guys, welcome, welcome. Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. Man, today we are in third person shooter kit 2.5. So I got everything moved over to 2.5. I was having some issues with some things. I just redid everything from scratch and now everything's working beautifully. I just have a few adjustments to make like the AI. Um, I need to get him to sprint when I'm uh, distance away from him, which I had him doing before, but I want the animation to work as well. Whereas before he was just kind of shuffling real fast towards me, but his animation wasn't matching up. So I want to get all that together, um, which it seems like literally the animation is not driven by speed. So I'm gonna have to go in and uh, make sure that animation is driven by how fast I'm moving because if I set the character like on my other setup that's done through FPS kit, um, that's my outdoor setup. So when we're outdoors, we're gonna be in the looser setup that you see in most of my videos up until now. You see the character jumping, flipping, being able to throw. This is after she's more, that's after she's more leveled up. <clears throat> now I'm gonna be working more on the uh, confined spaces before she gets leveled up. So this is when you're in the beginning earning. These are gonna be more closed in level levels. They're gonna be way more um, gun and combat, you know, hand to hand combat and gun and, 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 and it's gonna be that type of scenario and there's not gonna be much superpowers for, for Kapaki here in the beginning. So let's go ahead and go in. Um, I've been working on the lighting guys. There is a live uh, day and night cycle here as well so if you look and see the frames that we're getting here I have simplified the level a lot though so um, there is a lot that is not here right now happening that was before so it's running super clean um, and this is in the engine and it just gets better um, and I haven't even really set up my uh, I have not set up everything to stream in and out or anything like that this is raw and we're still getting, look at this, this is 70 frames. And everything's working beautifully right now. I set up some basic things. It's not set up by far compared to what I normally, how I had the other level set up. Um, I still have to do some landscaping in here. I want grass and overgrowth inside of here, which I do not have. I do have a landscape here. Um, I'll show you guys some of what I did, I guess, before the video is over so you can see how I changed things to get the frames up more and how I'm going to change the environment. Um, ooh -wee. They're getting serious with me. Go, 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 go. All right, me and him having a shootout, man. Oh, man, he's about to get me, man. He got to reload. Get out of here, man. Give me that weapon. All right, yeah. I got these guys set up pretty tough. Um, I still have them spawning with random uh, health between... Th these enemies in this level are going to be spawning between um, 100 to 250. So you know and it's random so i don't know who and they get spawned with random weapons just like i had before um there's one enemy that's not spawning here um i gotta figure out why that is because they were all spawning when i first developed that uh trigger so i'll figure that out it's probably something simple all right i got 151 left man that's bacardi let me um <laughs> let me stop talking about liquor my bad um, let me see. I do still have the destroy destructive uh, wall here, but there's nothing to go to right now. I'm just falling down to a flat surface with nothing on it. That's another reason why it's running so well. Um, this is just really nice, man. Um, ooh, he got me. Ah. And it's beautiful, man. If you guys look, it's just beautiful. Um, it's looking a lot better. Um, what I did to achieve, and I'm still working on it a little bit to get it a little bit more. Like when I get close, you can see it gets nice and crispy. I really wish I had those climbs in here, man. Um, I do have the magic in too, guys. So 
it is here um this is actually just flame 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 i don't have it set to hurt the enemies yet but that i'm going to be working on you can see there also look at the frames when i use it so this is something i'm going to have to figure out as well um i don't want my frames being uh real high like that then you'll see here also that it's on the same as the uh, the melee so I gotta get my button structure together for sure and then this is the electrical when I'm flying it's a little bit more forgiving I'm gonna go fly and go up a little bit and we got the different uh, levels of the magic. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch them so you can see that there's different. This is the uh, AOE. And let me go ahead and put her on the ground. And it's on the switch weapon, so that's why you see the weapon keeps, keeps switching. But what I'm gonna do is have that this actually display magic in a different widget. Um, and here she's not going to be able to have, she'll be able to have the weapon float and be able to fire it as well as use magic. Um, this is something that I'm working out as well. So it's going to be a while before I get it to be perfect. But, um, so far everything works pretty good. You can see there's little ice shots. Um, they're not making impact like they should, so we'll figure that out. I don't know what that's all about. Um, the electric does. You can see it even leaves a burn mark. So the electric is working fine. Um, and I can go down here and you can see this leaving the burn marks on there. So, man, this is that's working real good. Um, this is like the surge. And that's the electric AOE. Um, like I said, man, everything's working like real well. Fire burn, fire AOE, and then let's do fire shot. There's fire shot, but it should be leaving burn marks. So two of them are not working exactly the way they should. They should be leaving a decal with burn marks. So I'll figure that out as well. Um, besides that, everything's working really well. Um, the flight I'm still working on is to get it like a little bit more accurate like in my other in my FPS uh, build that's what I call it there my FPS build versus my third person shooter kit build but um the third person shooter kit build I'm gonna be focusing on a little bit more I'm still working on my FPS kit build like all the time so I just kind of jump between them and when I get an idea in one I also will try to get that idea into the other kit as well um i'm just deciding how i'm going to use them and when and where um i can switch between the characters at, using blueprints i'm pretty sure it won't be that difficult to achieve more i have to worry about the button configurations and things like that um but like i said everything works pretty good let you guys see out here where there's nothing at But if you look out here, there's literally nothing. So we're getting a really good frame rate right now. Um, I could probably have, uh, I would say like a good 10 enemies on the screen at once and still probably stay above 60. So that's, that's good, you know, for a level like this where it's kind of confined space, you don't need to have like a hundred enemies. Um, I mean, I may want a part where there's like some quick, you know, because I'm, we're gonna have zombies and you guys seen all the characters I have, so I have to bring these characters in as well. And that's gonna start to weigh down things even more. So we'll just see how it goes. Right now, I'm appreciating the frame rate. I'm appreciating what we're getting out of this. Um, I still have um, materials that I have to scale down as well, even though these look amazing. I'm not gonna scale down anything in the environment. If I scale them down, it's gonna be more um, things like, um, I mean, her hair looks amazing right now. 
Um, I don't really want to scale it down, but it is bringing the frame rate down if you look when I zoom in, and that is because of the metahuman hair. So um, I think I might have to bring her uh, skin meshes down as well. I think I might have them at 4K. Um, we'll just see, man. I'm going to build it and see how it plays, but right now it's playing pretty, pretty damn good. The reflections, everything looks really good. Um, I do want to maybe get rid of a little bit of the lens flare um, off of her, um, off of her armor. Um, I might want to get rid of that and um, t or tone it down a little bit. I do love that it's there, but I may want to tone it down a little bit. I have the day night cycle set to um, one to one, so it's going to be really slow. Um, you guys saw how the sun was moving, so it'll come up here, and you can see the sun's coming up right now. Um, I definitely want you to see that. So, and I'm still working on the fog and, and shadowing and other things, but if you look, you will see that it's it's the blue is gonna fade out as the sun comes in. And I have another video that you can click on to go check. Uh, out how I did those things and I'll explain them in that video but I'm gonna go ahead and we can watch the Sun uh, come up here and then that way you can see how and what I'm talking about as the Sun comes up it's gonna be kind of slow we, I have the flying sound effects and everything now so everything's working a lot better um, I just want to go ahead and add the climb points and things like that. And then this will be amazing. But there you go. You can see right there. See the blue from the night is now not there anymore. So I'm going to show how I did this and how I achieved this. And how you can see on this side, the shadow still has kind of like the night blue on it. But over here, as the sun's rising, it's, it doesn't have it anymore. So... And so there you have it and the frames are still at 60 there then they're like right there but um i i haven't like i said i haven't even like really pressed this down and i haven't added everything either so these frames will definitely change i'm sure um but we'll figure out how to get them higher and like i said in engine frames are you want to get them as low as you can don't get me wrong because yes it makes a difference but um they're not as detrimental as frames per se when you start uh, building the project you, your frames are going to increase by a lot a lot so what you see in the engine is not necessarily what you get something there blocking me i have to look and see what i must have moved a piece of the landscape so because it wasn't doing that before so all right guys that's it amp capo black adonis games like subscribe let me get back to work